Hi, I had this epiphany yesterday. I was in a very crowded and noisy area and I was trying to listen to the speaker of my phone and I didn't have my headphones with me either, so I couldn't hear anything at all. And then snap, I had this great idea. But before discussing the idea, let me show you the insides of a human head. Here's the ear and the ear canal that ends at the eardrum. All the noise from environment plus the audio you want to hear enter into the same canal. Now there is another canal here called eustachian tube. Here you can see that this canal connects from behind the eardrum all the way to the throat here. Many of you have used these canals before. For example, when an airplane is taking off or some other reason where the air pressure changes on the outside environment, you feel the pressure in your ears because now the pressure on each side of the eardrum is different. Usually we do what we call popping the ear. Basically what we do is to blow air into our nose while we are blocking the air from going out. This puts air pressure on those canals and forces them to open. And when they are open, the pressure on both sides of the eardrum can equalize and we feel good in our ears. And this is what we call popping the ears. Now some people like me can open and close those canals and even keep them open. When they are open, I can even hear my heartbeat. Like, it's open right now in my head. I may sound a little bit different. So now the trick is to block your ears with your fingers so that the environmental noise doesn't get to your ears. Open those canals and keep them open and then... Put your cell phone in your mouth so that the sound gets to your eardrums from those other canals. It tastes a little bit like earwax, but it's actually working very well. It works very well, although you will hear the harmonics a little bit differently. It can make you popular in a party. People will start talking to you. Hey, stupido! Well, that's all folks. What? It wasn't exciting enough for you? Okay, let me show you something else. Here is a magnet and an iron ball. For this experiment, we need to know how close we have to get to the ball before it moves. So I slowly get closer to the ball. Ah! And this was another way to pop your ears. I hope you are excited now.